guys welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be stuffing my cash envelope stuffing for my paycheck of july 2021 and this is the first paycheck of this month and i know it seems like it's further on down the month but i am paid bi-weekly so this is just how my paycheck work so um we are going to be unstuffing my cash envelope wallet and then we are going to be stuffing my everyday spending cash into my cash envelope wallet and then we're going to be adding some money to my 52k challenge um sinking funds that i have going on is like a money challenge and then we are going to see what aiden has left in his envelope because whatever if if he does have anything left in his envelope we are going to put that into his savings sinking funds envelope so guys that was a mouthful and i just want to show you guys like these little buddies are so cute you remember i told you i got these at kroger's they were 99 cents look how they have grown i just had to show you guys because i don't have a green thumb so i am like super proud and super excited that they lasted this long all right guys so without further ado let's go ahead and get started okay so first thing first i always make sure that i unstuff my envelope wallet to see exactly what i have left over because the cash that i have left over if it's not a dollar it goes to my one dollar challenge and this is the box that i am using for that one dollar challenge and then if i have any cash that's left over i do put that into my wallet to deposit into my account and i do use that to pay towards my credit card debt so without further ado let's go ahead and see what your girl got left okay so for health and beauty i don't have anything left in there dollar tree you guys know i don't have anything left for that and then for my dollar tree envelope i know i was um putting these on my website for you guys um i'll show you these you guys like like grabbed them like super quick i want to put these on there for you guys so that you have a chance to get them because i know some of you guys said that you can't get these in your store so i just added a dollar just for like the um i guess the handling of it and everything and i do have that you have to pay shipping but i try to put them as cheap as i can get them um, cost effectively so you guys can grab them so make sure you follow my instagram a pink cloth life because i put these on there whenever i get like a handful you see me with a big box of them saying hey guys look what your girl got and then i post them on there and as soon as i post them on there i list them to my shop and you have to come get them there like a first first come first serve basis so you have to get them because they like run out especially the clear holographic ones. all right so for dollar tree nothing next we have eat out eat out i don't have anything in that envelope you know that household nothing in this envelope and remember in my last cash stuffing um i did i did go over budget for household items but i do have enough to last me for a while so i don't have to put as much in my household envelope this time as i did last time next we have groceries and you guys know that groceries won't go have a dang on thing in there so we got zero next we have car maintenance car maintenance i got an oil change that's coming up so we only have 15 dollars that is in there and we're going to be adding to that so and my oil change is only 47 dollars at the dealership so that's what i'm gonna get so next we have gas and gas has not gone down so you guys know that gas is nothing in there personal i didn't really get a lot of stuff so personal looks like we have 20 dollars 20 dollars i know <clears throat> let me stop okay so we have 20 dollars left i'm excited because i never really have too much in there especially a 20 dollar bill okay all right so next we have aiden aiden has $15 left in here. I don't really need to get him too much because my baby boy is off them pampas and them pull-ups. Get it, Aiden. Get it, baby. You go, boy. <laughs> All right, so 15. So I'm going to put that right here because that will go into his savings sinking funds envelope. Okay. All right, so next we have planning and but Ooh, what we got in here? Planning and budgeting. We have $5. Woo! and i normally don't have anything left in my planning and budgeting so that will go here to put towards my debt and that will pay some of that down for my capital one credit card that i am trying to pay off and i'm actually starting to get back on track with that next i have five dollars i did sell something on the facebook marketplace whoop whoop so this is just an extra random five dollars that i just put back here so this right here will actually go to i'm going to put this towards my family time um I'm gonna put so I'm gonna actually put this towards my family time envelope 
sinking fun. So I'm just gonna put some stickies on these right here so I will know and not get them mixed up because that is so easy to do. Okay, so we're gonna do Aiden's savings and we're gonna put that there. Okay, all right, so this money here is $25. So $25 will go towards my Capital One credit card. This doesn't stick as good as the cloth and paper. This is just one that I got, I can't remember, just from a store, maybe Walmart or something, and it does not, I repeat, it does not stick like the cloth and paper ones do. They stick really good. Okay, so 25 deposit to pay credit card. All right, so that's what we're doing with that. All right, so we are going to go ahead and stick this in here. All right, that'll go there. All right, so now let's put this to the side and we are gonna go see how much cash we are going to be stuffing. So today, and this is just a Teller Reusable Cash Breakdown Slip. I do have these in my shop. You guys have been getting these and you're loving them. So um, this right here, it you write with a Sharpie marker or whatever marker you want to. And then you can just basically um, use um, hand sanitizer and just wipe it off and then reuse it. I stick it in my wallet and I do stick it in here when I do my cash envelope stuff and then just give it to the Teller who's waiting on me. All right, so let's go ahead. We're supposed to have $350. So let's go ahead and count our cash. So we have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. All right, so we got 350 dollars. I don't know why I'm saying three. I don't think I used to say three. I don't know where that came from, y'all. <laughs> I'm tripping. I don't know where that, that little roll with the three is coming from. Ooh, it's been a long day, long week. Okay, all right, so let me put this in so y'all can see this nice 50 bill. I ain't gonna have it for too long because it's for groceries. All right, so. All right, so because usually I do a $50 bill in groceries every single time. So, all right, so I'm going to grab my wallet back again. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start stuffing our envelopes. So we have, for Health and Beauty, we are going to add $49, and we are going to do two 20s, a 5, and we're going to do two twos. So this right here will only be two, so I'm going to put a line, and I'm just going to do twos here, and then I'm going to do a line, and I'm going to do twos here. Because this right here, I can just basically write the same thing that's here for that. Oop, dropped it. Okay, so we're doing a 20. We are doing a 5. This is a raggedy 20. You see this nonsense? Raggedy 20. And then we're going to do two twos. And, um, all right, and I'm going to need to be very gentle with this 20 because this drink is, look at that. Ooh, make sure I give this one first. I might, you know what? I'm gonna switch this for another one and I'll probably put that with my grocery um, money because I always use everything out of my grocery money. So I'm gonna use that 20. I'm gonna put this crisp at 20 here. All right, so we got 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49 because I do have a hair appointment, which is not really a hair appointment, but I just gotta get the back of my hair shaped up and kind of, you know, tidy. Like it's like seven, 10 bucks. And then I have to get my nails done, which is like 35 bucks. And I do leave like a little tip. So we have $49 in there. All right, so next we have Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree, I totally love. So we are gonna do $15. So I am gonna give myself three fives for Dollar Tree. And y'all know, like I said, I love a Dollar Tree. So five, 10, 15. Um, if I worked at the Dollar Tree, that would be my whole paycheck. Well, no, no it won't, because Tina's on a budget. <laughs> That would be like the hardest thing ever to have to deal with, like work at the Dollar Tree and then be on a budget. Sheesh. All right, so next we have Eat Out. So Eat Out, we're doing $20 and we are gonna do two tens for that. You know, I said I like to have small change a little bit. So we got two ten. 
So that will be $20 for the eat out. I don't need to eat out. Y'all, I've been really tearing that little tuna that I showed y'all on my Instagram. It's like lemon dill. It's so good. All right, so we have household. So we're only gonna do $15 because I told you that I um, had got a whole bunch of stuff and like paper towels and um, cleaning stuff and Dawn detergent. So I don't need none of that stuff. So we're just doing a 10 and a five for that. So we got 10, 15. This money is raggedy this time. Goodness gracious. I mean, I know it ain't gonna be that crisp, but sheesh. All right, so next we have groceries. So groceries, we are doing $90. So we're gonna do 150 and then I'm gonna do 220s. All right, so we got 150 and I'm taking this raggedy 20 here and put that on top. So we got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So that will go in my grocery envelope. Y'all, I'm still excited about this. What is this? That $25 I had? I don't even know where oh, I put it back in here, but I'm excited about that. All right, so that will give us $90. All right, so next we have car maintenance. Car maintenance, we are doing $6, and we're going to do all twos, so we're going to do $3 for that. Not $3, three $2 bills. $3, they don't even make a $3. So two for six, so that will be put in here, and that will, let me make sure I got what we got. So we have 10 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. All right, so we got $21 for car maintenance. All right, so next we have personal. Oh, no, no, we have gas. Girl, I'm looking right here. We have gas. This look, ooh. All right, <laughs> we have gas, and for gas, we're going to do $30. So I'm going to give myself $120. And 110 and people like you don't use your your debit card because what I do I go to the Walmart gas pump and I pump at the gas pump that is exactly beside the station I know that is like just Tina you tripping and so that way it makes me want to use my cash because I'm like it's just right here I'm not even gonna swipe my card so what I do is I park go pay and then I'm like a skip hip hop skibbity hop right from the station so i just go to the clerk and i give him my cash and then i'm out of there we're not out of there i still gotta pump the gas but you know okay so personal i am giving myself 40 dollars, so i'm just gonna do two plain 20s all right so we got 20 40. i don't even know what i'm gonna get i don't even have like i don't really need to get a lot of stuff anymore all right so next we have um let's put 40. So we have Aiden, so Aiden is getting $15. So we are going to do 10 and five. And I think I might just let him if he wants to get like a little toy or something for him. So we got 10 and five. Well, he has like a thousand Hot Wheel cars. He has 4,599, 63,000. I don't even know if that's the number of Thomas the Trains. And he has of the magnets he has like 65,399 million of those so it's like what do you get him it's like what does he need he doesn't need anything else okay so i guess that's the same thing as me with stickers right okay so for planning and budgeting we're going to do 15 dollars, and i'm going to give myself a 10 and a 5. oops okay so 10 15. so i don't know i might like look on Etsy and see because I want to support some other shops so I might see what they have on there or get some PDFs or something like that all right so next we have my 52k challenge so I'm going to scoot this over we are pretty much done with this this wallet anyway she is a chomp and a half so but she zips okay all right so we are going to do 52 week challenge and I'm going to show you that sheet back here and so I have enough room. All right, so because I'm paid bi weekly, so I do mine most of the time two weeks at a time. So I have um, $27 and then I have $28, which would make it $55. So that's how much I need to add for this time. So we got this, so we should be at 405. So I'm gonna head back over to this sheet over here. All right, so let's go ahead and count how much we actually have in our 52 week savings challenge. I need to get some more challenges going. So 
I can have a fat notebook. All right. So for 52 week challenge, we have 50, 100, and 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Okay. So we got 350. All right. So we're going to add $55 because that's how much with the two weeks that we're supposed to add. So we're going to do two 20s, 110, and one five. So, and that seems to be all of my money that I have in this money tray. Mm -hmm. All of it. All right. So, we have 50, 120, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, that's exactly right. 405. Okay. All right. So, let's go ahead and hop into getting um Aiden's savings envelope I am like super hyped with Aiden's because his is supposed to be he's about to hit 1k and and we are pretty much done with this yeah he's about to hit 1k and I'm like super excited so when that hits 1000 I'm going to take the other 500 and I'm going to put that into his savings account because I have a placeholder $500 bill in there now so um let me just go ahead and do it and stop talking right so with Aiden's Let's hop to his. All right, so, oh, his is open. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have, so we are going to be adding $10 to this, and we're going to add it. And in my other video, you guys were saying, like, you had a different amount before. So I did end up going back, as you can see, guys. I had $880 instead, so I came up with $930. So shout out to all you guys to be like, Tina. Uh, you might want to check what you wrote <laughs> so thank you guys so much like I do not get mad at all I appreciate it I appreciate all of the help all right so we got 880 and then it was 50 and then so we added um, the $50 so that made it $930 so we are adding the $15 that came from my cash envelopes of everyday spending so I didn't write that here but um, I'm just gonna do down here Aiden same just so I can keep a record because I just like to keep a record of things because you don't know and this is just going to be separate you just don't know because it's not going to be added so I can have it to remember 550 60 70 80 90 610 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 710 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 810 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 910 20 30 40 45 all right so we got 945 dollars for Aiden so he is almost at the 1k mark so we did add 10 and 1 5 so this is just just for my references here so I am like super excited for little buddies in the loop boop, boop. okay all right, so next we have, I'm gonna take this and add family time. This is just extra. I had, I told you I sold something on the yard sale page. So I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on the Facebook marketplace. I do have something else that I gotta um, meet someone for. Just always meet in an open, known place. Nothing dark, nothing there, nothing mysterious. Just, you know, in public places, guys, public places. We have family time, we added the $5. So we have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. And then we had $60 before, and then we got $65. So we have $65. And this is for things like we want to go like to the park and do like little extra activities, something like charge or like small admissions. This is just something that I'm kind of piecing together because it's always good to have like a little bit of, what, what do you call it? Chunk change. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and add this up. And I'm not going to add this amount with this because this is the other thing and I am just going to so this won't be added with that so this is 350 all right so I'm just going to copy what this is so we got one nine seven because I just don't like the white spaces left 40 70 180 and then 50 all right so we got 30 and then we're gonna add that. So we got, this should be the total of 40, 10, 350. 
All right, so 25 to credit card debt. All right, so we got one, two, four, six, eight, nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and add up this column to see what we got here. So we got 49 plus 15 plus 20 plus 15 plus 90 plus 21 plus 30 plus 40 plus 15 plus 15 plus 405 plus 65 and I'm not going to add his savings. That's going to be different. So we're not going to add that. All right. So, and let's just add this column up real quick. So we got 20, 15, and 5. And we're just going to add these up right here. So that's 40 because these are kind of like different, um, different things a little bit. So I should have not added these in there, but I just wanted to add the total for that. So that should work out. All right. So guys, I think we are pretty much done with this cash envelope stuffing. And this will be spending that I'm using every single day. So guys, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up because you know that I really do appreciate it. And then also, if you have not hopped over to my new IG page at Pink Loft Light, please hop over there and follow me there. And then like I always say, until next time, guys, peace. Thank you.